What is up, YouTube? Thrift School over here, and sales have been kind of slow lately, so I'm going to take you guys with me and show you everything I do to speed up my sales and to hopefully get some sales going better. Now, on my eBay store, I did sell a few things, so we're going to pull those from inventory, pack them up, ship those out. Didn't sell anything on Amazon as a merchant, but I believe I sold some things as an FBA or fulfilled by Amazon. So that stuff is already taken care of. That's why I love sending stuff into Amazon because it will pack it up, ship it out for you. You don't even have to deal with it. That stuff is great. So we're gonna pack up the eBay stuff. Then I'm gonna show you guys the stuff I really do to speed up my sales. Now, one thing I've already done that we won't be able to do is put best offer on listings. I've recently put best offer option on every single one of my listings, whether it be $500 or $5, right? Now, when somebody offers me something, you know, $3 on a $5 item, yeah, I probably shouldn't have $5 items listed, but I do have a few just to move them, get rid of them. I'm still making about a buck or so on them. So it's nice just to, you know, have those smaller things to kind of, you know, give me some more sales throughout the week. But um, whenever somebody offers me something really low on that, I just don't answer or I say, sorry, best offer wasn't meant to be on this item. If you'd like to purchase it for $5, you can. Now, when somebody offers me $200 on a $500 item, I get that a lot also. They're cutting it more than in half. So they're just trying to see how far they can go. Sometimes, you know, you never hear from them again, but I like to shoot them back an offer of, you know, if I'm willing to drop it $50, I'll say $450. Now, if they're coming all the way up from $200 to $300, they're ready to bargain a little bit. So then you know that, okay, you can mark it down to $400. I see a lot of people, whenever they're uh, getting bad offers in, they just ignore the person, they get mad at the person, they send them a rude answer. I've seen that before, and I don't think that's really a good idea because you never know somebody, I've done it before, I go onto eBay, I see a bunch of stuff that I want, I'm like, well, let's see how low I can get it, and I just price it, or I send them a best offer around half, which, you know, surprisingly, some people take, so why not give it a shot? But, uh, I'm gonna grab those orders, uh, pick them, pack them, do all that good stuff, and then we're gonna go uh, onto my computer, take a look, see what we can do to speed up these sales and get some more money. Let's go. All right, so as I was pulling up the orders on my phone, I got a return request and it said automatically um, accepted from eBay. And I was like, oh, that's odd. I never even saw this return request. So let me see what's going on here before I just let it go. And I sold an LL Bean flannel. And it sold for 30 bucks, free shipping, so I was pretty happy about that. I believe I paid somewhere between three and five dollars for it. Um, I charge a 10% restocking fee. I see some people charge 15, some people charge 20. I kind of don't even like charging a restocking fee because, I don't know, it just kind of seems mean, even though it's not really mean, I don't know. I just don't like it, but I still do it. I recommend doing it, otherwise you're gonna be out of your shipping cost every single time if you know the item gets damaged or whatever. So, they say, Change my mind is the reason. Comments, beautiful item as described, no flaws. I just don't believe I will wear gray that often. I would like to return. They knew they were buying a gray flannel from LL Bean. I don't know, they're paying return shipping, they're paying the restocking fee. I don't know, I mean some people. So I'll get the item back to me. Uh, technically I am out about $3, so that's why sometimes charging a higher restocking fee helps. I did have to ship it priority mail in a padded flat rate envelope. So I am out about three to $3.50 on this item. Um, that's okay. I did take a best offer at 30. Hopefully it sells again for 30 to 35 and I could recoup my money. If it doesn't sell, this thing took forever to sell. So I'm actually very sad that it's coming back. But you know, it is what it is. I'm still looking through my notifications to see all the items that I have to package up. And to be honest, wow guys. So to be honest, I actually don't have to pull anything and pack and ship it. I sold this right here. This is a Yukon Huskies men's uh, jacket, big jacket for 60 bucks, but that went local pickup to somebody here in Connecticut that goes to Yukon. So we're gonna be meeting up in about an hour or two, maybe three, and I'm gonna be giving it to him. He's giving me cash, so that's great. I like local pickup sometimes. I don't have to pay for shipping. That thing would have cost me like $10. Well, not $10 to ship, but actually cost me a little bit to ship, probably seven, seven to $8, even though it's just going here in Connecticut with USPS raising their prices, it definitely wouldn't fit in a padded flat rate envelope. It'd have to go in the next biggest thing, which would be priority mail or uh, USPS parcel select. And that's gonna be seven to eight bucks, no matter where it's going. So 
hey, I saved seven to eight bucks, happy there. So now we're just gonna hop onto the computer and try and speed up these sales, maybe lower some prices. I'll show you guys what I do. So here we are sitting in front of my computer and a lot of people ask me what my eBay store name is. Here it is right up here. Let me actually take this off the tripod. Here it is right up here, jdu.jes. So yeah, that's my eBay store name if you definitely wanna check me out. So what I'm gonna do here, and this is what I like to do, um, I go to my listings and I like to sort it by current price and I like to go from high to low, not low to high. So you can see some of the low priced items I have right here. You know, $5.95, $6.95, $7.20, $7.75, $7.94. Those are some low priced items. Uh, this $5.95 I probably should take down because of the recent USPS shipping increases. This I think was gonna go for about eight something ounces and now they're charging over $3 for eight ounces. So I don't think I'd make a profit on that. I definitely need to take that down, see if Amazon will give me more there. So let's sort it by highest price. So let's see what I have. The most expensive thing I have at the moment on eBay is $180 for this Sony digital e-reader. Now, I thought this was gonna sell so fast, you could see 233 views, four watchers, three questions on this e-reader. It's a very sought after model. About 10 to 15 minutes after I posted it, I got a best offer for 120 bucks, and I didn't take it because I figured I just listed it, the watchers were coming in, the offer came in, I'm like, okay, somebody's gonna give me 180 for this. And I wasn't trying to be greedy, I just thought I was marking it fair. I actually have it priced the lowest on eBay right now. Turns out the guy sent somebody else a best offer of 120 and they took it, so he didn't want mine anymore. That was before Christmas. It is now January 30th. So it's been about 30 days plus, and um, yeah, so there goes that. Hopefully it sells, I'll be happy to take 120 this time. We also have a Pendleton jacket, I have priced at 130. Um, it's brand new with tags, it's very nice. A Boston Red Sox jacket at 120. And then a few things at around 100 to 70, and then it starts to dwindle from there. So what I like to do, to speed up some sales, I'll take these items, the most expensive items, and I'll just drop them by a buck or two. So all these watchers will get a notification. So right here we got six watchers, we have one, we have four, we have one. So they're gonna get a notification saying that the price has lowered on their item they're watching and if they wanna purchase it. So that's what we're gonna do now. We're just gonna lower these prices and hopefully we get a best offer in because I'm willing to sell some of these bigger, bulkier items right now. Okay, so I just revised my prices over there on eBay. There's really not much more I can do on eBay since I already have best offer on all my listings. And the pictures are in pretty good shape. There are a few that might need to have better pictures taken, but right now we're not gonna bother with the picture taking. We're gonna move over to Amazon and see what I can do to boost those sales. So I'm over here on my Amazon FBA feed and you can see some of the prices I have on a bunch of things. You can see those are all video games and things like that. So these are just a bunch of random video games I had sent in. Now, one thing that's great is this website right here, repriceit.com, and you can actually have a repricer on your Amazon account, so it will lower the price if somebody else lowers their price to match or to beat the other person's price. So let's say I have mine priced at 1039 right there, some other fba -er comes in and drops theirs down to 1038. Well, mine will come down and either match them at 1038 or beat them at 1037. Now, you can see these are zero available. These um, were just sent in. This was a shipment I just sent in. You could see that right there on the 26th. So, uh, that was four days ago. We definitely have to get another FBA shipment ready and good to go. This was about... 30-ish items somewhere around there. So there's not really much we could do with FBA since I already have a repricer, but if you guys don't have one, this is the website. It's not too expensive. It's called repriceit.com. And uh, I believe I pay $15 a month or so, and it definitely pays for itself because if you have a bunch of items in your Amazon inventory like I do, you do not want to be hopping in there and repricing manually every single day, multiple times a day. So in reality, there are two things that I could do on Amazon to speed up sales. The first thing is to send more things off onto Amazon, of course, create an FBA shipment. I do have items here to do that, which will help. Uh, I'm probably not gonna do it today because I am gonna be meeting up with somebody, my girlfriend's here right now, and um, I'm going to be doing some merch by Amazon t-shirts. So I'm probably not gonna have time to do an FBA shipment today, 
but I will probably get some stuff together and maybe start listing it. I probably just won't ship it out. The second thing you can do, now I have some things that are merchant fulfilled. You could see this shelf back here. All of that stuff is either on eBay or on Amazon via a merchant. Now the reason why I sell some things as a merchant is because maybe the rank is really high. And I don't want to send it into Amazon to accumulate fees because I don't know if it will sell. Things like CDs that have a rank of 800,000 take a very long time to sell if that, if they even sell. Now the reason why I still pick them up is if I find them for 50 cents to a dollar and they're selling for 40 bucks. Now I look at that and I'm like, well maybe the price is overinflated and that's why it's not selling, but I'll take that small risk, list it for 40, and then wait, you know, a few months goes by, it's not taking up a lot of shelf space, and then I'll bring the price down to 30 and then 20, and then if it sells, I still made money and I wasn't getting those fees from Amazon. Now one small CD isn't a lot of fees on Amazon, but if you do it with, you know, I have about 75 to 85 things over there, those fees start to go up and up and up, and it's best to avoid those wherever you can. Another reason why I sell some things on Amazon Merchant are items that got returned to me and are not in new condition from Amazon, and I can't sell them as new and used. Sometimes they're restricted as a used category, or sometimes the used price is so low, it's just not worth for me to send it back in. So I'll price it as a merchant, and uh, just where whatever happens, happens with it. Um, and I'm able to hold out a little bit longer if I want to, or I price it over on eBay. And sometimes you get some more money over on eBay, but that's kind of what I do. So right now there's not too much more we could do with Amazon. So we're actually gonna get working on some merch shirts, Amazon merch, and I'm actually gonna show you guys how I design a shirt and we'll design a shirt right here, right now. Real quick guys, I do get some questions sometimes about my stock portfolio portfolio and it's in the red right now but it's starting to come back it's been in the red for everybody because you guys can see everything was going down but it's starting to bounce back up which is nice these are all the stocks that i hold you can see everything's in the red besides that guy right there and um yeah that's pretty much everything i hold if you guys want me to do a more in-depth uh, teaching or just showing you guys what stocks I buy, why I buy them. I could definitely make a video on that. Uh, just let me know down below in the comments. I mean, there's a few in here that are doing pretty good, but uh, you know, today's just not a great day. Hopefully it comes back up. Also, Robinhood just announced cryptocurrencies on here. Look at that. They're all tanking right now. Um, I will admit I do have a few Litecoins, more than a few. I think I have seven Litecoins and Doge, I have like 12,000 Doge coins. So we uh, will hope that once Robinhood opens up trading to the public, these prices will shoot back up because so many more people will be getting into it. And that might be a decent time to sell guys. But yeah, let's get over here on to merch, which I'm at right over here. And I only have 61 products live, but I do have 10 new submissions remaining. So we're gonna do one of those right now. So I was gonna work on a shirt, but Photoshop needs to update and it is going slow as can be. So we're gonna have to come back to this later. Not sure how long it's gonna take. If it just needs to go to 100, sometimes it has to do much more than that. So we're gonna try and figure out something else to do right now, guys, let's go. I wanna show you guys something. I've been buying a lot of these, definitely in bulk. You could see some of the prices I'm paying, $6 right there for that guy. Um, six dollars here for that one as well and a few of these i actually get in bulk um i'll go to local thrift shops and people that get you know uh dumpster dive not dumpster divers they do like estate clear outs and i will go up to them and i will tell them hey i buy vcrs dvd players laser disc players things like that and a lot of these people honestly take these take these and these and they just clip the wires and they scrap the wires so i tell them you know they're only getting a few cents per unit and then they just throw these out but it adds up for them so i tell them hey i'll give you a two bucks a unit and give it to me and they do so i have a few a few connections that do that not a lot but i have a couple and uh i believe this one i got that way and this one i got that way these ones i got at thrift stores i find these a lot at thrift stores these can i mean over on ebay guys six bucks these things can go for 60 to 70 dollars also make sure you have the remote none of these had the remote 
but I was able to order them on eBay. They're gonna be here later in the week. The remotes costed me about nine to nine to $11. So I'm gonna be in the hole about 15 bucks to 17 bucks per unit. But if I could sell them, you know, for over 50 bucks a pop, I mean, you're looking at a pretty decent profit. Not too bad there. So here's that Yukon jacket that sold that I'm doing the local pickup for. It is a starter jacket. It's a pretty nice one. I mean, I'm glad I got 60 bucks for this thing. I really didn't pay too much. Now, how I keep these, I keep everything in these poly bags. Now, I do this because I have a dog that sheds a lot of hair, and also it's a little more presentable, but I like to do that just in case sometimes she comes in here, so I like to make sure that these are all protected. Now, I organize things a little bit differently than other people just because I don't have a lot of clothes listed at the moment, so it's easy for me to do it this way. This is my sports bin. I keep all of my, you know, sports shirts in here. We have a Yankees, we have another Yukon. Uh, this is another Yukon right here. Uh, Denver Broncos down there. Uh, that's a Jets. There's New York Red Bulls. So I just keep all of my sports related material right in this bin. Right next to it is all my beachy material and Tommy Bahamas. So you'll see Tommy Bahama. These are all Tommy Bahamas. And yeah, so I got a bunch of Tommy Bahamas. They're taking forever to sell lately. Um, over here, these are just golf polos. Above it are just regular long sleeve uh, button ups. Right next to that, these are long sleeve sweaters. Not too many in there. These are bigger sweaters like crew necks and there's a zip up one right there, but these are mostly just big thick crew neck sweaters right there. Over here we have, for some reason there's a stuffed animal in here. I don't know why he got put in there. Um, but over here we have more of those button ups, just uh, regular ones right there. Over here, there's some more Tommy Bahamas and Nat Nasts. I just split them up. I'm not sure why I split them up. I think because this bin was full at one point and I needed more space for them. But now they could all go into one, which is nice. Over here, these are bigger jackets for winter. Um, right here, these are more of those button ups, except this side is blue, that side is brown, so they're easier for me to grab. Right below it, these are all listed on Amazon as a merchant. These are, um, you know, Beanie Babies, Thai Beanie Babies, and all that kind of stuff. Now, the reason why I have these listed as a merchant, uh, Amazon made selling these used restricted, but these ones were already listed used. So I'm still allowed to sell them, so I'm not taking them off of Amazon. I just sell them one by one like that. And then, yeah, that's pretty much how I go. I have this whole bin filled with ties. I definitely need to buy some new bins, especially bins that are all the same because that'll really help efficiency. I have all these different bins. Some of them don't fit on the shelf correctly, so that one's kind of hanging off right there. So, yeah, that's kind of how I organize. It's not super organized, obviously, guys, but it works for me, and I'm definitely looking for a new way to organize once I clean out this office. Hello, pup. We do have a little pup, and... You kind of look like the dog right there, kind of. Hi, baby. What are you doing over here? You're just such a cutie. She she pretty much just sleeps over here on the couch because it's warm right there. And it's a mess. I need to do some cleaning. So, I mean, Photoshop's taking forever to update. So, can you fix that for me? No? All right. Sorry. So, not really sure what the deal is with Photoshop. It is taking forever to update, so I'm going to have to update you guys in another video with merch by Amazon. Pretty much, you know, I just hop into Photoshop and all you got to do is create an image and stick it on a t-shirt. It's so easy, guys. If you're not signed up for merch by Amazon, go to merch.amazon.com, request an invitation. It will take a little while for you to get approved, but once you get approved, guys, it is probably the easiest money. I already have have videos on my YouTube channel you could check out. I think one's called the easiest way to make money online because it is so simple and the money rolls in. Now I'm not making a lot. I'm not making as much as Hustler Hacks or some other people, but I am making money on there and it is honestly by far the easiest way I've found to make money online. I don't really know anything about Photoshop, guys. But there's so many YouTube tutorials out there, just like how you're watching me, to see how I thrift, to see how I price things, to see how I, how I sell things. I do the exact same for Photoshop and for fixing my car and things like that. YouTube has so much knowledge just packed in there, as Ty Lopez would say, the knowledge, right? So. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this. I know I didn't really do too much today. Uh, I showed you guys, you know, updating. I'm going to go meet that guy very soon. Uh, drop off that Yukon uh, jacket for 60 bucks. Definitely a decent sale right there. 
but we're going to hope to get some Amazon FBA orders out. Going to meet up with that guy and I'm just going to do some cleaning around here, cleaning around the house, cleaning up the office, organizing so we can take some pictures for eBay and that will probably be my next video guys. I think I'm going to be listing a bunch on eBay. Definitely let me know if you want the Robin Hood stock video because I would love to go over that kind of stuff with you guys. I mean, I, I'm having fun with it. Not making a lot of money on it, but I am making some money and it's more of an investment. It's more of a future thing. So if you guys enjoyed the video, give it a thumbs up. Comment down below if you have any questions. Subscribe if you haven't already. This is Thrift School signing out. See you.